Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Lions Cricket TV. Today we've got an exclusive conversation with head coach Wandile Kwavu. It's been a while since I've had an interview with the players. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. It's Ryan Rickleton, a man on superb form. Yeah, always looking forward to being on um, Lions TV. Um, yeah, now I should just discuss the season. Um, Get, one, get on one one on one with the coach and ask him some questions as well. And we've got the newly included Lions player, Evan Jones. Looking forward to the questions they're going to ask, obviously, and just yeah, give my point of view of, of things. Yeah, But I think we've learned a lot. And um, I think for the competitions going forward, we are hungry um, as ever. And I'm um, really looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward to chatting to them about the season ahead and what we can expect from this incredible team. Start off with you, Coach. Um, I know you've been part of, of the Lions cricket team for about, what, five seasons now? Just take us through what it has been like and what you have enjoyed in that journey. It's not every day or every season that uh, you're lucky enough to come in and work for the Lions and uh, continue with the legacy that has been left with some great by the great coaches uh, that have coached this uh, big franchise. Uh, also, the, the personnel that I've worked with, I've worked with some really amazing people. Um, and also, it's, it's true that you, you do you do realise the impact of a lot of people when they're not in the environment anymore. And I'm just thinking from the top of my head, guys like Kompila Romela, um, guys like uh, Aaron Pangi, so Stephen Cook, uh, Nono Pongolo, just to mention a few, those guys really did uh, leave a, a footprint here at the Lions, especially with me, also with my coaching and also with a little bit of experience that I came in here with. Uh, also the learnings of this, uh, of, of this team, I learned a lot from those guys and I'm still continuing to learn. So the past five years have been great for me and I still continue to enjoy it. Evan, you're the newly included member. Just take us through just what you have experienced in the last couple of months and how the culture is at Lions Cricket. Um, yeah, it's been incredible coming here and how, how I think the players here don't really realise the, the magnitude stuff is getting done at the Lions. It's, it's incredible. I'm very fortunate in, um, in, in everything we do, everything we experience and then from a culture wise nobody it, it has given any like, um, it's, it's not been hard walking through this culture, it's been incredible, um, anyone you approach has a very open open door policy, they, they, they're really open to, to really like chat to, chat to you and um, make you feel comfortable and that's, that's what I've experienced from day one, um, so it's been incredible. Coach, take us through the, the new team that, that we're seeing um, this season and some of the new players that you have included, including Evan Jones. Well, let's say for the past two seasons have been very tough in a sense that uh, us uh, producing so many pro tiers almost every season, I think it started with Jeff back in the day. Um, I think uh, it helped that back in the day there was also Northwest on the side where you could go and pick up players. Uh, past two seasons have been tough uh, because uh, we've had a squad that has been revolving all the time and there's been a lot of new faces. Uh, I don't know how many caps we've given to, to some new players uh, in, in the squad. So this season we, we're trying our best to create a solid group of players that can consistently play together because I believe that's where success comes from. If you want to dominate and dominate consistently, you need to have a consistent group of players who are playing consistently together so that they can start understanding each other. And that's where we are at the moment, that we're still building that group of players that are playing together. Uh, unfortunately or fortunately, this season we're lucky enough to have guys like Ryan Rickleton who for some odd reason has not been selected for the test matches. Um, Vian Mulder who's been consistently also with us. Um, Duan Olifia who's also been with us and uh, Sisanda Magala who's also been with us in the past couple of games. So at the moment we do have a core group of squad that uh, has been playing the couple of, past couple of games which for me has been a really good thing for us. And, and Ryan, you have been part of um, the national side. Tell us how that journey has been so far. It's obviously a bit up and down at the moment. Um, <laughs> Yeah, obviously always a dream to, to personally to play test cricket um, yeah, and to get that opportunity to play against England and England was you know something that I'll, I'll hold close to me um, and try you know do better when we go overseas again but yeah obviously out of the squad at the moment um, due to injury which is a bit frustrating but you know at this at the same time it gives another opportunity to come down and and play and you know represent the Lions I love playing for the Lions I love playing at the Wanderers um, and you know it's an opportunity to add silverware to to the cabinet um, over here. So there's always a silver lining to it. Um, obviously, everyone wants to play all three formats of South Africa, but there's some things that aren't in your control. And you know when it's out of your control, there's no better place to come to than, than playing here at home. Um, and yeah, I'm happy to be here. I really am. I'm living in the moment, um, playing for the Lions, and 
you know, just want to make do with, with what we got in front of us. So yeah, looking forward to, to how it's going to unravel. And you have Liam Adler, who was included in the first one day game that we had against the Titans in Centurion. Tell me what he brings to the side. So Liam Alder is a young player as it is. Uh, SN19 player. Um, I think uh, everybody saw on TV on uh, on the last game that we played against the Titans, playing one of the best teams in the country. Um, his presence, his character, and also the control of the ball that he has. So I, I can't ask for any better than what he is, especially as a young 19-year-old. So I'm looking forward to spending quite a lot of time with him and giving him quite a lot of opportunities to to to, to go out and uh, play for the Lions. And I was fortunate enough to have a sit-down chat with Liam Adler, and this is how it went down. Where were you when you got your uh, call to be part of the under-19 team? I was lying on my bed, I think it was, we had load shedding. I was scrolling through TikTok, uh, watching Netflix or YouTube and I, th I saw a message from coach and then he tried to phone me and I was on my way to the cricket nets afterwards because uh, my brother, me and my brother decided now we had enough sitting at home, we have to do something with our lives. And then I phoned him back eventually and he said, Liam, listen, I would like you to train at the team on Thursday um, and you will be in the squad for this weekend till Beyond's back. And I was from here, that was the best decision. Um, I think the best news I could hear in my life. Um, getting goosebumps on my way to the cricket nets and knowing that can I, I could actually work for something and not just go to the nets just to have fun, but actually to work for something. And that morning I woke up and I went, when I was on my way to school, I was, went to my principal's office and I was like, so um, as soon as this exam's done, I need to leave. I've got a game after, straight after this. He said, no, it's fine. And, Two and a half hours later, half past eleven came, and then in my exam paper, walked to, walked out. Headmaster standing outside waiting for me, and as soon as I walked out, all our teachers were standing there congratulating me, and thanking me for my five years that I've been in the school. I think for me that was also one of the biggest um, privileges I've had is also being at a great institution like his. I think it has helped me a lot in life and helped me a lot with my cricketing career. You got two wickets, didn't you? And I know the, the big one of um, Aidan Markram and the way that you celebrated. Tell me the emotions that came with those wickets. I think I just, um, as soon as he hit it back, I was like to myself, uh, if, as soon as I catch this ball, I'm going to go mad. I think I've, I remember first pumping the air so hard with both of my hands, like my whole body just went to goosebumps. I think I was just the happiest person on earth because I remember uh, Vian Mulder and Rickleton telling me, just carry on bowling, you'll get him out eventually. And I just kept on believing and came my way eventually. Personal goals for this season and, and what you're most looking forward to achieving? I think this season, um, just try play and train with the Lions as much as possible. And then next season, hopefully get a somewhat of contract. Um, I'd like to be at the Lions, but if it's not, hopefully somewhere else. But my my aspirations right now is just to try to play as many games for the Lions and train with them and learn as much as possible from the guys here. Yeah. That was my conversation with Liam Adler. Definitely looking forward to how he's going to continue to rise in the game. But something else that has come up is you being assistant coach of the SA20 tournament that's coming for Joburg Super Kings. How did that come about and were you excited to hear the news? Yeah, I got a call. Prasanna had a lot to play uh, behind the scenes. Uh, there were there was two teams. Um, surprisingly enough, uh, after I got a call from two other teams, uh, and then uh, something came from home, and uh, of course I had to decide that uh, I'd love to stay at home because I know these conditions better than any other conditions. But uh, Prasanna, our analyst, also had uh, a lot to do uh, behind the scenes uh, in terms of putting in a good word, mm -hmm. uh, if that's the right thing to say. <laughs> and how exciting is it to have that tournament, Evan? I know you're also included in the in the tournament. Yeah, I think it's going to be exciting. It's going to be new energy to, to, to South African cricket. It's going to be um, amazing to see um, how they're going to, just how they're going to do everything. I think that's going to be the most exciting part. I think there's going to be crowds. It's going to be, yeah, I think the scale is just going to be through the roof. Um, so it's going to be super exciting. Rapid fire questions. I'm going to throw some questions at you and then you guys need to tell me eh? um, about some of the players. So let's start off with a player that is the most untidiest. Anyone can answer this one. Vian Mulder. Vian Mulder, do you agree? Filthy. Correct. No. Vian, <laughs> are you hearing that? <laughs> he is. And also he's your buddy, so you have the freedom That's of saying that, right? That's why I can right? say he's filthy, yes. <laughs> How bad does it get? No, nah, he's gross. It's just stuff everywhere. He smells. It's not great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the funniest, the funniest player. Tronky. 
Yeah. Yeah, he definitely is. Really? He's the joker of the team? Yeah, he's the funniest man in the team. Right? The way he explains things, the way he says things, the, if we play soccer, everything we do, he is just an absolutely comedian. Player that is very moody. Oh, Rex is up there. Look at that Jocko's coming. Really? I think. This side. He's very moody. See the chairs too. I'm Ryan, a little, I'm a are you moody? Yeah. Why are you moody? Like, are you not a morning person or is this could last the entire Sometimes day? Sometimes I'm just not a person. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know. I'm not, not a person the, the sometimes. <laughs> Smartest one in the team? Riza. No way. Not? I think Riza was going to be best dressed, ne? Razzle is, that's, uh -huh, that's uh -huh. that. Best dressed. He's, he's, he's also a smart person. Okay. Very sharp. Mm. Very sharp. Dom's a sharp. Dom, Dom, Mulder is also quite sharp. Yeah. Rickleton is not bad. Thank you guys. I think we're done and dusted. Thank you for opening yourselves up and just telling us about just the season, how things have gone, and we're only wishing you the best in the next games to come. Thank you so much for tuning in to this exciting episode, and we will see you in the next one.